For those who don't know, I am one of the top players in Titanage, so the, you already know this is going to be a generally good guide. Hey guys, I'll be splitting the video into three main parts. First, the skills, then mechanics, and finally, mods. If there's any questions or anything that doesn't make sense in the video, leave in a comment down below and I'll try to respond within a few days. So you want to go for like quick reload then go for the two agility because the agility is like actually super useful so that you get them both and then go for a blade throw for a special strategy i'll talk about later and then yeah go for scout instinct because it'll basically let you uh take one hit from the titan then basically go to taunt and get stealth and you want to get like blade master after it's very useful like you, it makes you uh, swing slower and then go for horse training and then get hand grinder because if you combine this with the um, scout instinct you basically have two lives and for the other points you go through mor morale one two and three and then you go through silence because it's very useful and basically you make you invisible for 30 seconds get cta which gives you uh, two blades and 300 gas. It's super good. And you get Unseen Potential because that is one of the best abilities in the game. Like Unseen Potential and Call to Arms are like very uh, useful. But yeah, that, that's like the, old, the skills you need to get as a prestige one. Okay, so for, for prestige two, you want to go through the exact same route, you know, going through like agility one, two, and then getting your blade throw and of course getting sound instinct getting going through taunt and stealth but this time for go instead of going for uh hand grenade go for the one after it which basically makes you be able to reload while being grabbed and then of course you go in the same spot as last time but what i recommend this time you get is a uh, good nose so you can see every single titan it's super useful then for uh last go on supplier Go through Swift 1, 2, and 3 and get portable supply to the station. It's very hard. For power 3, you basically get the same thing, but this time you go through increasing blade speed reload or 1 and 2 instead of going through taunt. But then this time you go through burst and get spinning slash. These two are very useful. Then for you go through the same path for going for good nose and good unseen sensor, but this time you want to get shared power just because you can actually share with your allies like that's like really useful and then everything else is the same thing it's really simple so of course you have laws to move around q to do your um, uh, left grapple e to do your right grapple together you can go really fast with it and then if you hold space bar, you also let some uh, gas out and go even faster. So using your two grapples together, you can go really fast. And speed is actually key in this game. You don't want to be slow because the time is very bad if you're slow. You won't be, obviously, you won't be this fast because I do have like a bunch of technology crits, but same concept should be fine. And then, of course, M1, you know, you can swing. M M2 is just doesn't really do anything uh also if someone is down you can press the v i can't really show you example but uh, yeah i can't really show you example but if someone is down you can press v to carry them to safety that's also an option if you press h you get a list of uh, uh flares and each one has their own uh, uh meaning you just read this if you could go on to um but yeah those are the main uh controls there's also ones where you can restock your gas so if you hold t you restock your uh gas and also t for your blades so let's say if i have no more blades i just go here pick it up some blades and boom and then of course one through uh, zero blades oops i didn't have to do that but uh yeah and then shift of course you know, shift I don't know, some people like to also play shift lock, I don't. I usually like playing like very zoom out, just so I can actually see what's happening. And uh, yeah, that's basically the main controls. 
Oh, and I also kind of speak on R is also to reload. If you want to like reload your blades, let's say yeah, I'm gonna damage my blade real quick. Um, Say you damage your blade, I'm gonna get your blade. Uh, let's say your blade is damaged. You can see by this indicator right here. Yeah, force uh it has four durability for each blade. Every time you try hitting Titan, you will lose a, a portion of your blade. And once it's fully empty, you can press on to reload and you get your blades back. But you will lose one blade. And you can also do Call to arms or anything else that um, restores your blades like that. And uh, one more thing. If you press S, you can uh, draw your blades because when you spawn in, you won't have access to your blades until you press F and then you draw your blades. And uh, yeah, this one more thing I also forgot to talk about is if you hold M1, as you can see, I'm like charged up, so you can charge up your attacks and time it. Cause uh, when you start off, you don't actually have like like this fast of a swinging. Like it takes like it has like I think a one second delay, so you can time your swing. So you can like click hold, and then go around, and then, like, go at the right time just because of timings. I should make life a ton easier. You should be able to play time as much as But yeah. Oops. six injuries in this game so the first one is a uh, spine injury basically what it does is when you swing you will lose four hp signified by that awful sound so the next injury is a uh, broken leg basically this makes it so that you walk much slower and you can't run this is honestly not too bad because you are going to be bad except it doesn't expect, uh, affect your back and spin uh, making myself so i can get you the next injury so the next injury is fractured arm. Basically, you can't do your E grapple. You're only stuck with one grapple. So, oops, I need to delete that. So you can only grapple with arm one arm, which doesn't affect me too much since I do have the a uh, uh, bunch of like really useful mods that make me go faster. But once you're low level, you will go really slow. So you're gonna have to use your uh, propulsion to make yourself go even faster. The next injury is rib cage. Basically, you can't really see it uh, affect me right now since I do have a um, uh, master's blade and I do have some other talents that make me swing faster. Basically what it does, it makes it so that you swing slower and this will be especially noticeable once you're low level. But right now, so yeah, the next injury is the nauseating one. Basically what it does, it just shakes the screen around, it makes you really dizzy. It's really trippy navigating like this as the injury is uh, blindness basically what it does is that it makes you blind by making your screen very blurry and is very painful to get out of this it, it's having all the injuries combined is super tricky and it's a really hard to navigate Okay, so to get rid of injuries is when you spawn in, you can, oh my god, this is really hard. You can walk to this guy over here and click on him. He should be able to fix you up for 150, which is a lot for most people, honestly. It's very painful. Another way to do it is, of course, using some other mods. So uh, let me show you real quick. Here, so many. Basically, every time you kill a titan, you have a chance of getting healed. That combined with double whammy gives you 100%. So every time you do kill a titan, you do get healed. Another one is wave envy. So every time you finish a wave, you get max HP and all your injuries are healed. And those are like most of the mods that do heal your injuries. Another way is to go through the meta tree, which I haven't went through. But basically, if you go to bandages, you get two bandages and you basically are a medic. You can also heal other people's injuries by 
uh, using the bandmates on it, and it will consume one bandage, and you do get two bandages per match. And then if you go keep going, you can get self heal. Basically, you just get um, you can be able to uh, or you're able to uh, use your bandage to heal yourself. And there's some other stuff you can read, but most of the meta tree is not too great if you want to kill Tyrese. What I recommend you try doing is going for Crippling Lethality. That is like the best legendary without being a godly. Because honestly, there's a very, very low chance if you're going to get any godly. But I recommend going with Crippling Lethality than getting Nate Tandem. And Nate, or I was it, not Nate Tandem. Um, where is it? Scatterblades. Basically, what this does is that when you kill one Titan, you'll kill the Titan nearest, and a burst of blades will pop out. This is very useful because essentially what you're doing is it's a chain reaction. So if you're just like a, a massive group of Titans, right? If you kill one Titan, you automatically kill the nearest Titan. This creates two uh, scatter blades, and then those are very likely to hit another Titan since you have crippling Valley, and two of them die. And if it does kill another one, another scatter blade happens, and basically it's a chain reaction, and then more die, and basically you can kill a giant horde of Titans. It's super good. But then the best best setup I honestly recommend is since you can only equip one godly, mod spec is the godly to use. Of course there is Titan Serum, but Titan Serum is honestly not that good. Titan shifting in general is alright, I guess. That's uh, you can get way more kills with this though. So for soloing, I recommend got one godly, which is mod spec, still crippling lethality, and instead of scatter blades. Actually, you can go Skyder Blades if you want to, or Nate Tandem. I prefer like this setup. This is like my go-to setup when I'm like soloing, because you can kill a ton of Titans with just these mods. It, like it's overpowered. But yeah, that's that's basically how I got this many kills. And yeah. So that's basically it for this guide. If I missed anything, I'll try to respond in the comments down below, or if you have any questions, do so do leave those in the comments below as well. Thanks for the 100 subs, even though I'm a year late at this, I'm sorry, but I still appreciate the support. For, though, uh, for that, I'll be giving away a couple mods, a couple legendaries, and this very rare trash bag. Just leave your disc uh, Discord in the comments below and I'll try to pick a winner within the next few weeks. For the future of this channel, I'm not sure if I'll keep making videos since it is a pain, although if this does get enough attention, I'll probably pursue that. I'll probably make some other guides on like maybe Deep Woken or some other games that I find interesting. And if you are interested in helping me, please DM me on Discord. This is my, uh, I'll leave my Discord in like the comments below or something, so go ahead and DM me, feel free. And that's about it. Peace.